Hi, hi everyone. My name is Tanzao. Uh, I am, a, for those that don't know me, <laughs> I'm an Afro pop, Afro beats, Afro soul artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from the kingdom. So yeah, today we're gonna be talking about me being myself. Of course. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. You can ask questions, whatever you wanna find out, whatever you wanna know, you can ask those questions. Please, please, please. I, need, I need to interact with you guys. So yeah. Right, right, cool. Um, my first question, obviously, is the name of the man. The name is it like a stage name? Um, no. name? Real name, man. <laughs> oh, so, sad. so it's like like a real like it's a. I think it's like a generation. Uh -huh. My grandfather had it before. Me, so yes. That type of thing. So it's like a real name. I have a funny second name though. So mm -hmm. I would have said the whole name for you. So you know, but like, <laughs> we, 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 we 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 dropped the. Um, we dropped the the surname. Oh, okay. we we decided like okay, cool. The <laughs> last minute sounds like oh, like no. it's it's very anticlimactic. Oh you know yes, 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 yeah, kind of. So we yeah. so yeah, it's too long. So we, we dropped the the Smith and then we just went to the Right, right. And you know, obviously, I'm I'm not sure if that's just me, but then there's always that connection. Then there's all the actor kind of situation. That yeah, on with. it's it's the most annoying. <laughs> It's the most annoying thing in the world, man. Like, I've been called all sorts of those Washington, uh, everything uh, uh, from uh, primary. From so yeah, it's, it's it's people people make that that connection for some reason because it's 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 also it's also a, a unique name. Yes, yeah, so, this another thing. Yeah, yeah that's why it's, it's, it's weird to have, especially when you're from here. True, exactly. Yeah. Hence the is it a state and what it is in Yeah, Another one. Um, the music. Part about it. Um, was it something you always, I guess, aspire to, or you like, you know, how can I put it? You usually have stories of people like I was a, as a kid, like, two years old, I was drumming on that pots and pans. Yeah. You know, the baby school. Yeah. In your case, how has it done? Something you fell in love or cool? Yeah, you know, man. Like it's, it's 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 I'm I'm sort of like the typical singer mm -hmm. songwriter type type story. Started out in church yeah, 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 yeah. Like, from like a very young age. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I actually was involved with quite a number of acapella groups. Like started, mm -hmm. sang in, and then the most the most recent one was really from the one that I left before I went solo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the one that I left before before going solo was really tall. So yeah, man, like my my story, it, it, it's just it, it starts there, like at, at church, like at a very young age, my sister. Mm -hmm. Who's also like who's also been like in the in the industry. Okay, yes, yes, yes. So we started like um Jackson Five Family Five. Yeah, 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 it was like a family thing. <laughs> uh -huh. I remember, and I always tell the story. I remember my mom used to you remember those old like radio uh, radios that had like tape recorders. Uh -huh. Yeah, I used to have like uh, a tape. My mom bought me a tape recorder and like empty tapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like we could record like oh, yeah, yeah. and stuff. Um, yeah. So I, I guess yeah my journey started like at a very, very young age. Like I knew at that time that I I kind of had some talent. Yes, yes. But I didn't really think that it would become a, like a life thing. True, true. It's up until true. up until recently. It was when you sing in church it's never really Yeah, yeah. It's it's more it's never, like, yeah. But you can sing but like you don't know. Because when you when you when you go commercial this side on the on the on the other side, mm -hmm. it's there's a lot. Yeah. Like especially if if you're me and you come from like a like a church where we haven't been exposed to like instruments and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's 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 I had to I had to sort of like adjust and I keep saying I'm still learning. I haven't I can't really say I can't really tell people like confidently that I can sing mm -hmm. because I'm still Learning, I still get. I'm still trying to get to a point where I can, yeah. you know, like but, bravely say that. Now that's actually a good intention because it then gives you the room to always aspire to be better. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Because I mean, yeah, you can't be comfortable, especially in this yeah, industry. Yeah, true, true. It's like you lose relevancy like that. Oh, yeah. yeah, and especially if in an industry like Swazi, yeah, like in the Swazi music industry, you're still growing. Cool, exactly. You know? yeah, so so yeah. you need to like. You need, you need to you need to you need to learn you need to grow you need to like take advice mm -hmm. and like look at a lot of things which is what i think a lot of, a lot of artists from here need to do. yeah sure and um obviously we'll touch base again on the whole group so how did that come about yeah and 
band members, yeah. like was it uh how can I put it? church, New York branch of church or mm-hmm. you know, can... So so basically um I'm from the Seventh Seventh Day Adventist Church. Mm-hmm. So like there's a lot of groups there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot of acapella groups. So like I was involved with like like choirs and acapella groups. Mm-hmm. But then Unitone actually started in high school. A friend of mine, it was me and um, or two friends, two friends. We started the group, and then yeah, it just grew, just grew from there. The funny thing is, it started out at high school, but yeah. like it ended up being like a church thing because we we we, rec- we recruited from that church, oh, like yeah. people that understood, like the, like the whole the whole the whole thing, like the whole thing with melodies, harmonies, how to harmonize, and everything. so we, we recruited people from like from like my church. So slowly like. Um, the ones that went from my church started like leaving the group, like getting busy uh, and everything. Yeah. So it's just like replace it, like replace that person with someone who's familiar yeah, yeah, from yeah. that church. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of how Unitone you know, then became a, like a church, mm-hmm. church group. But it actually started in high school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. Apart from apart from that, it was. I think we first started uh, doing like um, covers of like. Yeah, different songs, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, like just, is, yeah, like covers, like Afro, Afro pop songs, mm-hmm. mainly, and then we kind, of, we, we kind of transition, like transitioned to, to gospel. Oh, okay. So that's kind of where we set. But then initially, you did you initially, come, yeah, yeah, we come. we started we started with the circular stuff, mm-hmm. and it actually like we we did quite a quite a few concerts like. With, this yeah. Is triangle. So can you can you get a hand for those? Are they still up somewhere on um, I'm I'm back? I'm not sure. I'm not sure because I re- I remember when I left the group. Uh-huh. I know that they sort of like continue. Yes, yes. Like yeah. doing stuff. So I'm not sure what they're up to now. Mm-hmm. But I do know. Okay, there is like a couple things that you can see online, especially because I remember this one year we did a song with courtesy. Uh-huh. So it's out there on like on the internet as well. Right. And then yeah, I think we did a couple of records with him, like two or three. Oh, okay. yeah. And then, and then from, he was actually supposed to drop one of the songs that we did like way back then, and there's the next thing. Wow, yeah, so it's so I think <laughs> I think people are gonna are gonna, are gonna see like what they hear from that. Right. We'll see that too, yeah. And um, in your experience, um, since you've been on both sides, but I guess most people usually want to distinguish, you know, gospel sound and you know certain. Yeah. Like, um, is there any difference? And what are the I can the integral differences? Do, do they feel like okay now my audience needs to receive a certain sound? Yeah. Or do you believe that artists can still maintain um same yeah. both um to be quite honest with you, it's that's the beautiful that's the beauty of music. Mm-hmm. People can relate. Like if, if your music is good and if 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 because I mean there's there's Afro soul songs mm. that actually sort of like touch base with gospel yeah. crowds because I mean like the difference in crowds which is why like for example uh, like a very very like a simple example you see Sands I remember he did a song like a like a very gospel like song and he sang it like at a gospel show but Sands is in a gospel artist. Yeah, yeah. so I feel like with a cappella it's more it's more of that like. People people re- will relate to you in whatever setting, which is which is why we find it easy to to be appealing to like another like a non gospel crowd to 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 also like appeal to a gospel crowd as well. Mm-hmm. So it, it's easy. It's, it's melodies, man. Like people people that understand them, and even people that don't, yes, yes. They, they they tend to sort of like fall in love with what you guys do if we do that. Right. Okay. Yeah. And um, the number one track, obviously, I know. It's- how did that come about and uh, how can I put it very thin okay we'll type on that part yeah, as well yeah, yeah. but let's, let's go with the, the track what is this do you have like a process of what like, most artists you know, like, go under um, <laughs> yeah. the yeah. I wish I had a, <laughs> a weird oh like that whole you know like thing. I wish I had a weird thing but I I really don't um so number one, 
um, funny thing, we were, we were actually speaking about this the other day. Be, like, imagine having a dope song and then no bad story. That's another thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. yeah. So, luckily enough for us, like, number one has a, what I think is like a dope bad story. So, um, beginning of the year, no, in fact, last year we did a song. Uh, we did a, sorry, we did a gig. We did a, an MCN gig. <laughs> For the first time, I was playing for, I was playing with the band for the first time, like ever, ever, ever. Yeah. It was ever since like it's ever since uh, I started sort of like going like solo. I've, I've only done acoustic sets, like keys that odd the odd guitar sometimes, and then so so MTN sort of like gave me the first full band experience. Mm. So from there, I met with NKO, uh, the producer, right. So, 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 so this year, beginning of this year, I remember I called him, so we're chilling in the house because uh, Platinum, uh, <laughs> and Platinum provides the equipment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we're chilling in the house, man. Like, and we were sort of like come, trying to, we were trying to come up with something. Mm-hmm. So like for, for like a week, I think, we were just like together, like sort of like understanding each other because it was the first time me and him were working together. So and so 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 what happened was he he comes up with uh, like a like a what we call a progression. He comes up with a progression and I'm like, oh, okay, cool, this is nice. And then he sort of like he gets stuck and he doesn't develop it. Like so we leave it, like we're like, okay, cool, this is nice, but we're gonna just move on to something mm-hmm. else, something easier. So like a couple of weeks later, nothing is coming. Like, at all, like we're not making any progress. <laughs> so we go back to the same to the same progression. It's like, okay, let's do something with this. That's when we kind of call all the guys together, the band, Cizwe, Cizwe, uh, Sims. And then we started playing the song in the house. Mm-hmm. And then, man, like, it, the funny thing is, first verse, chorus, done. We knew, like, we were like, okay, cool. This is, it just flowed yeah, like, We were like, this is the song, this is the song we're going to go with. And then yeah, it sort of like progressed from there. But the funny thing is, we've been recording the song, and like we've been recording the song since January. Ooh. Since January, like we've been coming up with versions. Like we take the versions to management, and the management is like, nope. <laughs> not and then you know, yeah, like so we. I think we recorded it a total of like ten times, Ooh. ten or more. Different things, like so different versions. There still is a chance of like a different version. Yes, I'm thinking version. for the album, we're gonna have like a deluxe version. Oh, oh, yeah, like, but yeah, yeah, man, like it, we, it, it, the song gave us like a very, very hard time. Like it's, when you listen to it, it's, it sounds easy, mm-hmm. but it, like it, it really gave us like a hard time, and I feel like it was for a reason because the like the message in number one and sort of like the sound. It's it's kind of what I've always wanted to do, and, and what I've always wanted to introduce to like people. Mm-hmm. And, I, and, I, and 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 I keep saying like, to the to my producer and everything, we see. I want us to create like a new sound because Nigeria has Africans and mm-hmm. they create like they made Africans like it's theirs. You know what I'm saying? So it would it would be nice to have something that is like strictly, strictly Swazi, yeah. like, something that's sound very very true. authentic. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like we, we try, we try our best to create very original, authentic music. And number one is just like a good example of that. And number one is just like, and I always say this, it's, it's the tip of the iceberg because mm-hmm. we're working on the album now. Yeah. But obviously, like it's 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 still in its conceptual stage, mm-hmm. and we have the songs, mm-hmm. but we haven't recorded them, so we're still like looking at um, what's mm-hmm. going to be the second single. And everything. Okay, so, yeah. So mm-hmm. it's, it's going to be interesting. It's gonna be all right, judging from that bang, of course it's going to be. Yeah, man. And then, um, good one. What's your preference? I'm just mentioned obviously recording with the live band and the like. Um, that or the alternative one. To mm-hmm. be quite honest with you, like if 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 you you're never the same when you start working with your band in studio, mm-hmm. you will never get to a point where you want to go back. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me speak for myself. An example that I like to make, especially in Glamour Lab, Afro Traction works with his band. Well, he plays, but he works with his band. Like mm-hmm. And you can tell from the music that yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's like different identities. Like there's the personalities of everyone is like mm-hmm. in the song. So it makes it kind of interesting because music is, is energy. Yeah. So, you can, so you, can, you can tell, you can, you, can, you can feed off of what was happening there. Mm-hmm. 
So like making music with your band, it's the best thing you can ever do. Like even if you like a, I know I know in Swaziland we have like a couple of producers and everything. Mm-hmm. Fine, like it's it's nice. Like that music is good, but right. this experience is like it's, exactly. it's special. You know what I'm saying? Like especially if you, if you vibe with your band and if you have an energy with them that's completely yours, it's very very it, it gets easier. Like for example, um. Like I said, number one was giving us problems, not because like the the beat and the band, the the, the stuff the band had to be was done like a long time. It was just the recording, the mixing, and everything. Like the the, the process after you had the beat. So, but but funny funny thing is with with the whole with the whole album situation, we've conceptualized the songs and the band is like they clear like it's easy. Like once you get over that first hurdle, like the other songs will just come, will so, just come to you. Yeah. So there's like a roadmap of sort. Of yeah, like it's what it's, you know. it's very interesting. I would like, especially because I work with the SQ project. Mm-hmm. It's like a bunch of geniuses. Like <laughs> it's like a band with a bunch of geniuses. Like because all of them are like very, the very in their, uh, in their own, like in their own right. Because you mm-hmm. have Cizre, which is which is which. Well, he does the music music. Um, um, directing, uh-huh. and then for like for the band, for me, and for like a couple of other people. So you like he has his part. You like you can't tell him anything about sequences, yeah, and yeah, yeah. like drum patterns, Bro, and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They're just like a team of people that are that I feel like we're made to work together. So it just makes it, it makes it the whole. SQ just, SQ, uh, the SQ the SQ SQ project is not a band. Yeah. Like people don't understand it. That they're not a band; they're like a a, a, a bunch of musicians mm. that play together. Yeah. So yeah, man, making music with those guys is honestly just like crazy. It's an entire point experience in its own. It's um, crazy. Uh, I wanted to ask, and yeah, there's obviously there's all these things with the whole development and movement, people and the likes, and some artists come um, up with the belief that you know what, you can hack it on your own. Yeah. Um, in your take or from your experience and your perception that within this, um, I think the period within this industry, would you say it helps you have a team? Um, yeah. Ideally, and how yeah. how does that impact? Because I, I, I've always believed in, you don't want to be splitting yourself on one of the things. The funny thing is, Swaziland has so much talent, like, but like we don't know them. Like it's very, there's people that are way better than some of the people that are in the spot like right now. Mm-hmm. But the reason why we don't hear them is because they don't have the right people. I was I was listening to some some other song on some cloud recently. I was introduced to by NKO. And I thought to myself, wow, this is like it's been there for years. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's I think it has three years on SoundCloud. Oh, but like people don't know it. Yeah, true, but it's true. so good. So like that's the thing with with, with and unfortunately, with the industry here, it's not like the other countries, like the US or South Africa, where like people can survive by not being popular. Yeah. Like, like you have musicians that are successful. Yes. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah. because I mean, you, success in music is kind of relative. So you have like so many successful musicians, but like they they're not really popular. So. I feel like having a team, like it, it especially in our industry, it makes the world of a difference. Yeah, true. Yeah. Okay. And then obviously this one was, was bound to happen. Any inspirations locally? Um any yeah. artists if you give it three bars. <laughs> I was I was creating those parts. <laughs> and uh, then yeah. obviously we'll jump from um next to main as well. Yeah. Say, yeah. Like, international. So three yeah. Yeah. Funny, funny thing. I'm like a, I'm like an Afro, Afro pop singer, but I listen to like a lot of hip hop. Like oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's cool. <laughs> so, I, like influences. Wow. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think I have an influence locally, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I have like artists that I look up to like in a very, very good way. Okay. So one, one of which is courtesy. Yeah, yeah. And, and not because. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. No, there's no bias. Yeah, it's not because, no, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> so, there's courtesy, like, for a lot of reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> funny thing, 
uh, I actually, I've actually heard him try to sing and harmonize stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like it's, it's yeah, <laughs> it's, it's it's kind of there. Mm -hmm. I mean, Amanda Moore is definitely here now. She's like a proper artist. Oh. Like I, I look at her and think, wow, yeah. that there's an artist. And then Mosaic was another was another sort of like inspiration. Yeah, yo, um, Sands, yes, yes, yes. Oh, the great. So yeah, I mean, like. I, I feel like I'm just gonna count even. Yeah, 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 yeah. But okay, okay. Yeah. And, then in, <laughs> and then in South Africa, I think my biggest, my biggest influence is definitely Ringo. Mm -hmm. And Afro traction to a certain extent. And okay. AKA because I'm a such a huge fan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think I think yeah, internationally I think mm -hmm. maybe Maxwell. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. Remember the new school guys. Like, yeah. Uh, the yeah, yeah. Uncle Carly wants to know that you're involved in the making of the amazing Sands of Time <coughs> album. How did it feel working with Sands? Uh, yo, like the, when I met Sands, like when I met Sands, it was I was recording with the church choir. So we we're in studio one night, and he was there. Like he was there working with Subject at the time. Mm -hmm. So. I think it was just a, just around the time where his career just started like picking up like really really fast and like, peaking. So he was like super humble. Like I spoke to him, I had a song like on on my phone that I had heard about like, the, I think it was like the, pre the previous week. Mm -hmm. So like I approached him and I was like I spoke to him and like for a guy in that position like he was so accepting like he was so welcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we had the conversation. And he was like, okay, I'm gonna hear the song, and then I, and then I, and then I made him listen to the song. We scheduled studio time right then and there. Uh -huh. So so we were in studio like the next week, recording the song that I that I made him listen to. So for someone in his position to like sort of like want to collaborate with someone who wasn't really yeah, true, true. in in the industry at the time, it was really really awesome. So we I remember it didn't really take it didn't really take long before we started like sampling some of his stuff, listening to his stuff. Because we recorded Toby there and we were done with it. It was it was it was a it was a basic song. So it was it was it was yeah it, so so it was interesting man like because that's kind of when like a lot of people started of like like re like noticing. So he was the reason. So like I'll always be grateful. Shout out to Sans. So I'll always be grateful for that man. So it was it was an awesome experience. Nice, nice. And Okay, talking about influences, stroke, um, musicians do this and do that. Yeah. We will delve into any festival. Oh, okay, actually, what has been the greatest performance? The one performance that actually has stuck in your mind that you really vividly, and in the worst case, <laughs> the one where you're like, yo, cut, cut is um, one of the worst. Yo, I don't want to be putting <laughs> people on the spot though. Uh, <laughs> the best one. Has to be Trotten Shades. Mm -hmm. It was at uh, the Jojo Park Gardens. Yeah, it was a platinum event. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. For me, I think that was like, like you know, when stars align mm -hmm. and everything sounds good, sound and everything. Mm -hmm. I, I'll always remember that performance. But obviously, like, since then, like, we've done like, a lot of shows mm -hmm. and it's been good. But I, I sort of like remember that that's when we started being good, yeah. that, that particular show. So I think that's the one that I will remember the most. And then now we've added like sort of like new things, the performance, like got like new gimmicks coming up. So it's going to be interesting that going forward. But I, I suppose that's kind of where it starts. It started like being really good. Yeah. It was like practice, yeah. practice, practice, and then that show was like where it kind of like. Came together. Mm -hmm. I mean, every show after that has been really, really good. Mm -hmm. The worst one. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, like, I, it was, remember yeah <laughs> I, I remember it. I don't want to like, mention. <laughs> but like, it was a show somewhere like, like Valentine's Day. <laughs> Val it was that a was Valentine's Day show. Like, oh, man. It was horrible. <laughs> it was the worst, but yeah, man, then you learn from it. 
Yeah, like we don't we don't send it out from that show. Mm. Like in terms of like crepes, getting prepared for because sometimes you like take these things for granted. Yeah. Like, like putting in the work before you start. True. Like before the performance. So I think that one was the one that we want to forget. Right. Okay. Yeah. Delve into the details. Yeah, yeah. And of course, um, any any words of inspiration um, or guidelines you can give any artist who wants to basically jump into this job from your experience in this journey. Like, what are the I guess top three things you keep in mind, um, Amy, and what are the top three things or one thing that you need to avoid by all means? I think I don't really I don't really have a lot of experience in the industry. Now, for me to sort of like yeah, give yeah, advice, yeah. like you know, because yeah. I'm still taking advice, like, and and like that. Mm-hmm. so but the one thing that I do know is, like I said, like we, we actually spoke about this, like you need people, like you need a team around you, you need people that will not only inspire you, but like people that will tell you when you're not doing the right thing, because when you're an artist, like you have a like you have a like a blank spot when it comes to you. You don't really see some of the things that will hurt you, like your progress in the career, in your new career. So it's important to have someone to have someone to sort of like guide you. So you would see you there's not there's not a lot of like talent management. Yeah. But like I feel like if 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 you if you really want to be art be an artist, like you need someone helping you with that. Yeah. With especially with that part. Because if if it were up to me. If, 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 for example, if I, if, if I wasn't working platinum right now, I would probably have every song that I've recorded now on the internet. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no, yeah, there's no, there's no plan for it. There's no, because the only thing you want to do is put out music. Yeah. It burns, you know, like you, you record, you have songs, and then you don't release them. But if you have that, that, that person, so, yeah, that, yeah. So it's, I feel like it's important to have that one, and then two. Obviously, you need to you need to pick you need to pick one thing and stick with it because I've I've, I've realized now that people will people that like you will like you like people that like fall in love with what you do. Yeah, yeah. you will have those people forever. You know what I'm saying? But like, there's people that are that are going to be skeptical about you first. But if you stick to your guns. Like if you if you pick that one thing and then you go with it, like you like there's a lot of there's a bunch of people that don't know you yet mm-hmm. that will automatically like you. Mm-hmm. That's why people have fans. Yeah, because yeah. not everyone not everyone you have preferences. Mm-hmm. 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 Not everyone likes they mm-hmm. like like my mother. Like, but they're not changing how they sound because mm-hmm. they have a specific target market. I like how I highlighted that part. I'm going to take quickly yeah. the whole thing. <clears throat> It comes back to you mentioned you listen to hip hop, right? There's yeah. always like the purists, like the backpack is always yeah. pure, like the yeah. new school is kind of um mm-hmm. sand not gonna be mm-hmm. the water, like which is not the case, yeah, right? because they are catering to a certain mm-hmm. school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So basically it's really important to uh, be true to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. Uncle Khan is back again is he says, how does it feel having your first official single charting on iTunes in just a week of its release? Oh, that was good. That was like, <laughs> that was like a highlight. Because we weren't expecting it, man. Like, you never, like, you know, you know your song is like, you, you mm-hmm. trust your song, but like, not that much, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, so it was, it was, it was, it was, like, I remember I, I like, I Googled everything. I was like, I was making sure, before like I told people, mm-hmm. Like I took a screenshot. I was like, okay, I'm gonna know like what like what happens when you chart on yeah, iTunes yeah. before <laughs> before I announce it. So so yeah, man. Like it was that was like a highlight, definitely for me. Mm-hmm. And then it, it just sort of like told me that um, even if even if you're not seeing the 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 progress immediately, yeah, true. like people are liking stuff. Yeah, and and yes. fortunately, like here, we were twice, like, we all know each other. Yeah. Like there's no, like, like there's no people don't celebify you, hmm. like they don't, because you you're just the person that they know. True, true. Like, but like the response that you get from your music should sort of like tell you how should 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 should, should, should tell you what your progress is, like in the industry. So I think, yeah, that was that was that was nice. Yeah, 
going to hide it. Mm-hmm. So imagine like the states and of the kids. So you Dude, like, the, the funny thing is, um, like before no time, the no time the show, okay. Mm-hmm. Before no time the show, the show was like, I've never seen it. Mm-hmm. Like it's, um, you know what I'm saying? Because no time though. Like when she released, like, um, well, the one that I've seen, like, when she released the label, like, it shot the street to number one. <coughs> that was awesome, mm-hmm. like, that was cool. And then, and then, Jose dropped, dropped the hip hop album, it shot to number one, it stayed there for weeks. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. like, so, like, people, people are starting yeah. to listen, to yeah, us. yeah. So that was show, awesome. It also shows the growth of them yeah, as a home as well, like, yeah. people actually going to. Local. Yeah, yeah. Followers are cranking up the heat here. Yeah. So one follower wants to know if you have a girlfriend. I have a wife. I'm married. No, it's clear. That has been clear. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm married to a, 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 a very, very interesting person. So yeah, it's 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 it's, it's tricky to me. Uh, very, very interesting. Yeah, like, <laughs> also inspiration, yeah, it's great music here as well. I don't know, man. Like, I don't like to. I don't like to write based on my experiences because, mm-hmm. like, if I were to do that, people would know like, everything that happens. Oh yeah, you know so what I'm saying? saying? Like everything, everything, everything. Yeah, everyone would know. Like, oh, oh so this because <laughs> you need some some things you need to keep to yourself. Yeah. So like every time I write, like I imagine that scenario. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, um, obviously, as an artist, they may be like shows you aspire to to grace and get somebody in top of mind, be at a festival or um, stages. Yeah. And you see yourself actually be. Okay. Because, because I want to be like very patriotic, mm-hmm. the one show that I want to play is Smooth Face. Oh. I get it when I play Smooth Face. Well, I would want to play Bushfire and but like those um one those festivals are part two like the admin mm. so and, and and also like festivals kind of like want you to have like a repertoire and like an album out so yeah like I would, I would love to play i would love to play some mm. that's no problem so even yeah. me come on now <laughs> <laughs> these questions are bad these questions are bad um, it says you're married but uh your fingers are empty Oh yeah, uh, 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 sorry, sorry, babe. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, uh, uh, um, uh, um, I got married last year, and I lost the ring within like a month. Like, like I lost it, but, and we don't, know, we, we don't know where it is. But yeah, things got to be fine. We're not looking for it now. <laughs> we're, we're like, we're, we're, we're hoping we're gonna buy another one. Okay. I wonder who lost because I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a feeling. <laughs> I have a feeling I know. I <laughs> yeah. um okay, smooth face the heart internationally. Oh uh, yo, internationally. Coachella. I feel like everyone for some reason is that this is a personal Yeah. I'm, I'm 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 really not sure about the international festivals. I have not. Oh yes, wait. There's one that I recently looked up mm-hmm. I found. I think I think of I think it's nice. I have a shout out. I think it's nice. So it's smooth first. And those uh Swazi Tenza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
I know it's not advisable, but I would have to like have a lot of features. Mm -hmm. So it might be it might be a very long album. Maybe mm -hmm. like, a, like a lot. It might it might be like a lot. Right. Yeah. So and like I'm, I'm I think I'm fortunate enough to sort of like have uh sort of some sort of access to the people that I want to work with. Yes, yes. I've right. met them, mm -hmm. we know each other, so that's good. Cool. You've got the uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I'm um, hoping Bolo is gonna release our song for Lord Josh. Oh, so this song works as well. Right, right. Yes, yeah. But it's like the old song. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You could always include it in there as well, please. Nah man, <laughs> Bolo just believe me. He was like he was like he wants to release it with his album. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm hoping yeah. Yeah. So I'm hoping that's gonna come out with the three years. And um, recently there was that um, epic film being in hand. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, because I've been working with Platinum for like quite a while, mm -hmm. but like, because Kulegan is the kind of person that he is, he's worked with the people as well. Like, mm -hmm. So, we kind of like thought, okay, so now that we've started doing like a lot of solo stuff, it will be, it will be advisable for us to launch that mm -hmm. so that people are aware that i'm not so long now mm -hmm. and also like to sort of like introduce our partnership as well well i don't see partnership but like our sign mm -hmm. under the management company mm -hmm. so yeah so we thought that it would be a cool like it would be proper if we if we did like a like a brand launch mm -hmm. so what we did was we did a brand launch and then we launched the single as well that day mm -hmm. So it was a sort of like a dumb thing. We, 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 we. I don't want to say not brand launch. It was like sort of like we're announcing the like the one like uh, the fact that I was joining the management company. Mm -hmm. Like more fishing. Yeah, true. Like, yeah. Because I've been working with them for a while. That's from the party sort of coming yeah. on the board. Yeah. yeah. But I think we're still gonna like have like a more more of those sort of like things with platinum. Mm -hmm. So those shows. Because um, I'm not sure if I can mention, <laughs> if I can mention this. But yeah, we do for the nod. We'll plan on doing like a like a we'll plan on doing like a tour. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what it's like plan on all this. Yeah. Oh, you heard it here first, by the way. <laughs> the flag. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool, cool. And then um, you've obviously mentioned the team and the lights and you've seen like the printings um. Uh, digital and in the books. What, what's your take with the current um, shift in the um, cash flow? Yeah. It's important for the team to have a different mm -hmm. aspects and you don't always be able to do that. But um, how would you say that has helped um, artists bring their arts to this world? Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. The, the funny thing was having a conversation with a friend you know, about how, about how like things have changed now like mm -hmm. it's very very easy very very easy for someone to sign you mm -hmm. like there's there's like there's a process that you can follow mm -hmm. to eventually get their attention and people put a lot of music on social media now but i'm not sure if if, if it's working for them like so mm -hmm. the but like in south africa you people like get famous overnight like they put a song on social media so i suppose that kind of that element added into the whole music thing yeah, yeah. it's interesting it makes it it makes it easier for for like talent to be exposed for example like i said this country has so much like there's so many people like look up to men for yeah. example yeah. 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 and i feel like i feel like if 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 at all though if at all our our, our, our industry was, was, was advanced as other industry you know what i'm saying like it would be it would be very easy for like new artists to like, come out. Yeah, so yeah, it's it's I'm I'm not sure if if, if the shift, if the new dy dynamic is working for us oh, as well. Or is it working that other side? Because I mean like we we see it working that side. Because mm -hmm. the LA music is changing, it's generational. Like you can't we can't we can't really expect to sound like I'm yeah, sorry yeah. to go back to yeah. the latest music. Yeah. But uh, yeah, well so <laughs> yeah, it's 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 changing and it's interesting. And the fact that with the change 
with the change, it's also the the whole the whole um, social media thing. It's, it's actually making it easy for us to get this done. Mm-hmm. So easier access to all Yeah, but the the thing is, I really don't want to look beyond Swaziland mm-hmm. because I feel like it's important to have a fan base. In yeah, true. If you're a Swazi artist, you need to have a fan base. Because I mean, what's like what's the point? Because if 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 if, for example, you, I mean, it's 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 allowed. You can you you you're obviously going to blow up in South Africa and, and what have you. But I feel like you need to have an audience at home. I feel like that's important. Like, so, so my mind is so focused. Like I'm so right now. I'm like here. Yeah, it's what do like everything everything we're trying to do. In as much as yes, we get calls from South African music, uh, South African uh, radio stations, and everything, and we're pursuing those things as it is. But like I feel like it's it's important for us to like, first establish a fan base here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's 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 crazy because like I said, mm-hmm. like it's very, very hard for you to like move from someone some to move yourself or rather to sort of like shift your image from someone from like an everyday guy that they see to like now you're an artist. Yeah. It's very hard for people to sort of like take you seriously. So yeah, I feel like that's that's what we focused on now. That's what we're trying to do now. Hopefully, we're gonna get it done by Makes sense. And the whole plans of the tour as well. Yeah. So I, we're hoping, we're hoping that also helps. Yeah. Okay. And you mentioned the iTunes aspects. That was awesome. And how can I put it? If it ended the music, is there any other ground you've seen yourself delving into? I won't say acting because the first thing. Yeah. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. because. I've done the office thing, like I've mm-hmm. worked like for like a while. It's 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 last year that I kind of decided to to pursue music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like and now that I'm here, I don't see myself doing anything else. Because like that life is for people that are into that. Life. Yeah, I mean rather that I'm made for it. Because some like some for, for example, if you're a, if you're a creative and you're in a in your inner office environment, like that kind of space, it's, it's limiting. It's mm-hmm. sort of like, it, yeah, it makes you, it makes you a timid person. But also, like people can tell you're not at home. But when you're an artist, it's it's very very, and unf- it's very very easy for you to sort of like be a different person. So yeah, I think now that I've sort of like settled and I'm doing it full time. I don't see myself doing anything else to be done. Yeah. Um, also, I'm going to ask uh, your, your take on the industry as, well, as a whole. Is it grown? Yeah. Um, and maybe yeah. platforms that are actually helping the community? Yeah. The it's actually, yeah. Any suggestions for the community? <laughs> um, I, it's friendlier now. Yeah. Than, than before, like, when you hear the story. Like, mm. Uh, how much we can be if if because I mean like if, people, if, people if, when people hire you they think they think they, they in their minds they thinking okay we're hiring someone to sing like we're hiring someone to perform there's a lot of like there's a lot of, that goes into it because with that you have to do rehearsals you have to like transfer people band do rehearsals and sound and so there's like there's a lot that goes into it, but now the industry in Swaziland is like getting like friendly. Like, mm-hmm. All people are getting paid for work and everything. So I feel like right now it's it's the perfect time for you to pursue something in music, even if you had doubts mm-hmm. like about doing it. Because like like you get a lot of lectures. I've I've I've, I've had like a bunch of those lectures with people saying, "Oh, um, you can't do it." Or, not possible. Mm. Mm. Have that perception, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but unless yeah. you're in it, that's kind of where you see, oh no, you, you, you actually can make a living. You actually can make a living. But yeah, man, it's it's I feel like the only thing I would change is like more shows, because there's not enough shows. Because the only way you create in the entertainment industry is by actually having shows. If you don't have them, then you don't have entertainment essentially. If you have them once in like two months, mm-hmm. what are people doing? Like in the two months? Because like in as much as like there's places to go, 
Like you can go hang out with your friends in the house and everything. It's, it's different when you go to a show. Yeah. Because when you go to like a proper, proper performance. It's like a more time experience. That's, like, that's why people look forward to push fire mm. like they do and all the other festivals that are doing when you join them. So I feel like for, for, for the entertainment industry to go further, we just need more festivals, more shows. Mm. I don't know. I think that's more than my session. Yeah. 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 Because I mean, it's it's possible, man. Like we, I'll be honest in saying, at some point, if I hadn't had a con, if I hadn't had the conversation with Kulegani, I probably would be at the, I probably would be at the space of Nami and You know what I'm saying? So you live that that forced life where you're in the office, like for like long periods of time, and your soul is like exactly the corroding or you should feel yeah. or something. So I feel like if you're an artist and you're scared, this is the time for you to actually do something if you want. Yeah. And if you put in the, the time, if you yeah. mm-hmm. And then um there's always been then the issue of uh access to artists. I mean yes obviously mm-hmm. the people that may not the don't have do you think it would be and I can actually can we put out like a gong without the like yo they call no conference not so make a streaming service or a platform market for local art yeah. to actually um, make their or give I can put it, make their content available yeah. I think I think what I what I do know what I realize is that the art people that are trying mm-hmm. like there's a couple of uh, people that are trying to get stuff to for example Shanti and Alam. No, I love it actually doing a good job because they're the ones that, 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 that get our placement mm-hmm. like across like all oh, the different uh, platforms. Yeah. And then they have a platform, the Swazi platform, I think, because mm-hmm. it's Swazi. Mm-hmm. So I shout out to them. And then there's a couple of other people that I do know actually that are trying. So, you know, we'll see, it's, it's hard when you're not exposed. Yeah. I mean, you're, 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 you're developing and you're your sort of like your thinking and your conceptualizing is going to be limited to what you know. But I feel like if if we push ourselves, especially the ones that that are actually developing these platforms, just look at other things so that they are at that standard, so that it's easy for us to take them seriously. Mm-hmm. Because really, when unfortunately when you towards them, like another good example is um, people are gonna uh, you know there's there's more people attending a show with. A queer star or a yeah, so then it turns out it's one yeah. of So, so when you look at it, people are always going to like compare to like other the, like other more developed countries, mm-hmm. more developed industries. So I feel like the ones that I hear and that are trying to do something, I feel like they should sort of like make sure that the comparison isn't really too. Yes, yeah, so isn't as vast as that in some. So that, that so that those platforms are actually getting traction. I, I, I do know about Kimilo. There is a platform as well, but not a lot of people know them. The only thing that they can honestly is, is just trying to push their app and push their sort of like their service to a point where there isn't a lot of difference between it's that. Good, yeah. Because as, when you're an artist and you say, oh, yeah, like I have a single of Kimilo. Yeah, well, like when you're, when you're Especially when you're in, like when you're in Swaziland, maybe when you're in South Africa, people are like, "Oh, people, we don't know them, but maybe they, because when are they known that ones that are that side?" Yes, yes, yes. But like when you see, when you're artist side, when you say that, like I like I honestly feel like there's less reception than when you say to some, oh, "Yeah, my, my single is on Spotify or Tidal." Yeah, or yeah, it's kind of you know. So yeah, but I, I'm I'm honestly for everything Swazi. I feel like I feel like I still want to do like a lot in the in the in the Swazi industry. So yeah, man, like I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I'm excited about this thing. But I just feel like if 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 we if we're gonna get anywhere, we really need to start like upping the the standard to like get to move under. Yeah. Just really um to how. Is actually from remember how back in the day videos of the visuals used to look and for the current one. Shout out to Gwen. Yeah, yeah, the benchmark <laughs> is like up there. And you know the whole accolades as well. I feel like now that yeah. artists have it's possible, man. Like, 
Like I said, it's an, ex- it's an exciting time to be a Swazi artist. Mm. Like things are happening. Mm. So if if you if if you still if you're still not sure, like this like this is the time. Yeah, find um yeah, it's sort of exploded and they we're gonna be shooting visuals. So yeah, man, like there's 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 a lot of growth and I appreciate it. And uh, can you speak merch? I had to talk that one. Since I doubt it though. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Uh, I, I think I think I think we need to sort of like get get to the point where people will want them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's 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 but I don't know, man. We haven't really thought about it. We haven't really explored it mm-hmm. yet. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure it's something that we're going to explore in the future. Right now, we're like super, super ultra focused on the album. Yeah. Cool. Um, it's been an epic session. It has to learn um, any, any parting words again for you know, 20 years, uh, uh, what to yeah. expect in the results, <laughs> upcoming, and the tours as well. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, so guys, expect the tour, expect the visuals, expect my album. It's going to be coming out in a couple of of months <laughs> you know, it's, it's going to be coming out in a couple of months my single is out now it's called number one on every digital platform go get it it's a really nice song you want to get it yeah man. otherwise um yeah keep keep like there's people like i said because we're such a small country there's people that i see that give me like massive love mm. and so forth. shout out to them um i want to name drop but like there's a lot Okay. It would take it would take a while. So thank you guys for showing me love. The ones that do and the ones that don't yet, guys, you don't want you missing out. Get us now because like, in a couple of months it's gonna be oh, I need to be born. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, shout out to everyone giving me now. Thank you so much for having me. Right. You're good. Good man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are not responding to some of those things. No, my phone still is.